Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. We've talked a lot about equipment, we've talked about the care here at Children's Hospital. Something else that's really important is the research that's done into how to take care of these kids. Dr. Wyeth Wasserman is the Executive Director of the Child and Family Research Institute, which is actually where we are right now. Dr. Wasserman, thank you so much for letting us invade your space here. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for everybody for the support they've been showing. It's tremendous. How important is the research that you guys do here and the donations that help to fund that research? Well, the donations are absolutely critical. It's what makes it possible. And the research you've been hearing about a little bit all night long, because really the doctors working with the patients, that's the story behind the research. And I'll give you an example, just to keep it real. Um, in the diabetes research program, we've been seeing some major advances in the last few years as we figure out how to change the cells in the pancreas, bring back the healthy cells, and protect those children from having their own immune systems attack those cells. So very good major projects happening right now. So those, it's, it's like that kind of project, like the funding that people are, are helping us do tonight, the donations that people are making tonight, go to programs like that. Absolutely, and those dollars make everything possible. We go out and amplify those dollars with getting funds from other places, but we couldn't do it without the donations that we get yeah. tonight. Right. So we talked about that earlier, that the $1 donation can become $5. How does that work? Well, we take a dollar from the donors and we bring it with a couple dollars from the Canadian government and find a dollar from industry somewhere, find a dollar somewhere else, and all of a sudden you've got some major dollars in play. So every dollar goes a long ways. That's incredible. Thank you for the great work you do here. It's not just about equipment, it's about the research as well to try to come up with some better treatments and cures for the kids who come here to BC Children's Hospital. Give us a call at 310-BCCH. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Gilgit Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved. And it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home. And we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment. So I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged. And there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer. And I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been, all right. We gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Good. Thank you. 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 Thank you
WBC. One, One six, three, four, zero, eight, eight. There goes the confetti. Oh my God. It's a confetti. Wow. It's a confetti storm. Thank it's you very much, British Columbia. Wow. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Alex. Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play, through grateful lies, you can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And the peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, oh yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above